MGM Studio receives royalty from Jordan, eager as most any sightseer to view Hollywood close up behind the scenes. Making the youthful King Hussein welcome is production head Saul C. Siegel, along with his chief associates, story editor Kenneth McKenna and studio administrator Benjamin Thau. Los Angeles is one stopover of the King's crowded U.S. itinerary, but a genuine movie fan, he wouldn't miss the chance to see how films are made. He's on stage 25, where Tarzan the Ape Man is in production. There's also a warm human story involving King Hussein in motion pictures. He's been running movies at his palace on his own theater-type screen. Singing in the Rain with Debbie Reynolds and Tea House of the August Moon with Glenn Ford are reported his top favorites. So he meets them in person. Debbie and Glenn with their director and cast on stage 17, where It Started With a Kiss is before cameras. Exciting moment for a royal moviegoer. Fabulous MGM Studios were at home to King Baudouin. Visiting America, the Belgian monarch dropped in on the kingdom of the movies. Top executives introduced him to Eva Marie Saint, one of the stars of North by Northwest. It was apparent that Hollywood was much to the liking of this usually very serious looking king. Charlton Heston and Gary Cooper let His Majesty into some of the backstage secrets. They're filming The Wreck of the Mary Deer. Away from the critical atmosphere of Brussels, Baudouin was more relaxed than he has been for some time. On stage 26, Eleanor Parker and Robert Mitchum were presented. The next stars met were Gina Lola Brigida and Frank Sinatra, engaged in making Never So Few. For both the stars and the royal visitor, this was a day to remember. High spot of the occasion was the studio lunch at which King Baudouin sat between Debbie Reynolds and Glenn Ford, both starring in It Started With A Kiss, and it was evident that the King had most congenial company. For Baudouin and Debbie, it was an enjoyable departure from the daily routine. Oklahoma City goes all out, real live Indians adding local color to the reception for big name movie stars. Arriving are Ann Baxter and Maria Schell, who journeyed thousands of miles to be here. Miss Baxter from her home in Australia, Miss Schell from Munich. They're joined by their fellow star of MGM Cimarron, Glenn Ford, in from location work in Paris. Oklahoma's Governor Edmondson sees Ford try the peace pipe, and in the spirit of the season, Mistletoe makes an appearance, with the Governor's approval. Miss Oklahoma leads Glenn Ford also to label it the perfect plant. Highlighting a two-day celebration is the world premiere of the epic film. Many key scenes for Cimarron were shot in Oklahoma, and it was during the production that the governor requested that the world premiere be brought to Oklahoma City. The stars arrived to join state civic and society leaders for the jam-packed gala opening. A junior Chamber of Commerce audience is attending a premiere of the film at another theater, so just about everyone who is a VIP in Oklahoma City is going to the movies tonight for the twin debut. And those outside get their chance to see their favorites close up. A big night for a big time movie. At the Capitol in Washington, a day of festivities marks a gala film premiere sponsored by the American Newspaper Women's Club. In the old Supreme Court chamber of the Capitol, a luncheon honors the Hollywood luminaries who were in town for the first American showing of MGM's The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Glenn Ford joins Yvette Mimeo at the buffet table. Both have important roles in the new film. Senators Dirksen, Engel, and Keating are hosts for the luncheon, which is but one highlight of a busy schedule for the visitors. Later, there's a change to formal attire and a receiving line, which includes Glenn Ford, Connie Stevens, director Vincent Minnelli and Mrs. Minnelli, Pearl Mesta and Mrs. Eva Bray, president of the newspaper Women's Club. Mrs. Mesta is general chairman for the premiere. Miss Mimeo, radiant and lovely, joins the receiving line. At this reception, where MGM is host to important ladies of the press and many dignitaries from official Washington. Miss 
Mimeo, who won plaudits for her first portrayal of a major character in Light in the Piazza, is acclaimed for her performance in The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, where she has a co-starring role with a distinguished cast. And now, the benefit premiere at Lowe's Capitol Theater. The film version of Ibanez's immortal classic, hailed at its opening in Paris, begins its American run in Washington. The Cannes Film Festival. And who else could it be than that exotic queen of the screen, Sophia Loren, to excite the press men and crowds? Miss Loren and many other great stars of the big screen were there to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the festival. The inimitable Glenn Ford. The Begum Aga Khan arrives for one of the screenings, followed by the radiant French actress, Michelle Morgan. Kirk Douglas, one of the all-time screen favorites. During the festival, Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden were in Cannes for a gala dinner given for the Anglo-American Hospital at Nizza. It was a glittering occasion, also attended by Prince Ranier and Princess Grace. It was a field day for press photographers, and the Royal Quartet proved cooperative. The press were more than persistent, but the gay mood of the occasion brought with it a relaxed and informal atmosphere. But who could blame the photographers? Two beautiful princesses under one roof. It doesn't happen often.